Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series of engineering mathematics 2. In particular, curve tracing. In previous video, we discussed characteristics of the curves, how the curve is symmetric about x-axis, symmetric about y-axis, symmetric about any line, whether the curve passes through the origin or not. If curve passes through the origin, how to find out the tangent at origin. If curve has asymptotes, how to find out equation of asymptote. And all these things we have discussed in previous lecture. Now, when equation of curves are given, we can trace the curves. So how to trace the curves? Okay, this curve is given. Y in bracket x square plus 4a square equals 8a cube. Now, first of all, we have to check the symmetry of this curve. Whether the curve is symmetric about x axis or y axis or not. If you look at this curve, in this curve, all the terms in x are even power, it's all the terms in x, in x are even power. Therefore, the curve is symmetric, curve is symmetric about y axis. In this equation of curve, single term of x is there, I am going to distribute y in this way, 4a square y equals 8a cube and three terms are there, first, second, third, equation of the curve, all even power terms are there, then we can say the curve is symmetric about y axis. If equation of the curve, if all terms in y are even power, then we can say the curve is symmetric about x axis in this way. So this curve is symmetry about y axis. Symmetric about y axis means on the left hand side of y axis and on the right hand side of the y axis, the same portion of the curve will be there. Now, whether it passes through the origin or not, that I am going to check. This curve containing three constant term, 8a cube, a is constant and which is greater than 0, which is given to you. It contains three constant terms. See, we have three terms, first, second, third. Uh, first, second, third, first term containing variable, second term containing variable and third term does not contain variable, means it is free constant term we can say. If the curve, equation of curve containing free constant term, curve does not pass through the origin, it is not passing through the origin. So I am going to check whether it has asymptote or not, asymptote parallel to x axis, at asymptote parallel to y axis or oblique asymptotes. Now, how to find out equation of asymptote if it is parallel to x axis? Then from this equation, this equation I am writing, equation of curve I am writing for a y a square y equals a take you. In this equation of curve, the highest degree term in x is x square. The highest power of x is 2 here. Only single term of x is present. The highest power of x is 2. And coefficient of highest power of x, coefficient of x square, highest power of x is y, y, and that y we have to equate to 0. So how do you get asymptote parallel to y x axis? The highest power term in x is x square, and its coefficient we have to equate it to 0. y equal to 0 means x axis. The x axis is the asymptote to the curve. Asymptote to the curve is x axis. Asymptote to the curve is x axis, means y equals zero. The asymptote we, we found, then we check whether it passes through the origin or not, and the symmetry is also very important. It is symmetric about y axis. Okay, all these points may be asked as an MCQ in examination. Now, I am going to test the curve. This is y axis. Equation of y axis is x equal to 0. Curve is symmetric about this. It's on right hand side of the curve. The curve present on the right hand side of this line y equal to x equal to 0. Curve present on the right hand side of this line. This, this is the line. x equals 0 means y axis. Curve present on the right hand side. Right hand side is exactly the same pattern will you will observe on the left hand side of the because left hand side of y, y axis because the curve is symmetric about y axis. Now what I will do, 
in order to minimize the time, in order to minimize the efforts, the portion of the curve which is present on the right hand side that I will find and the portion which is left hand side of this line I will directly draw this 50 percent efforts may be reduced this region of absence means in which region curve is absent now how to find out the region of absence see y x square y x square is 8 a cube minus 4 a square y and x square equals 8 a cube minus 4 a square y is divided by y what I have done if you look at this equation it has only single x square term so I have written x square explicitly in terms of y so for which values of y x square is negative that we are going to check for y less than 0 see for y less than 0 y less than 0 means y negative for y less than 0 means for y less than 0 means minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus a whatever for y less than 0 this denominator will be negative and for y less than 0 means if y is negative minus minus will be plus and a is positive there I repeat for y less than 0 if y is negative for y is minus a minus 2a minus 3a minus 4a in that case the new minus, due to minus minus due to this minus sign the numerator will be positive for y less than 0 values for negative values of y numerator is positive and denominator is negative the positive by negative will be negative again the for y less than 0 x square is negative and x square is negative means x will be imaginary therefore curve does not exist for y less than 0 so y less than 0 means what y less than 0 see this is x axis and equation of x axis is y equal to 0 and y less than 0 means below this y axis uh, below x axis if this is y equal to 0 line or x axis y less than 0 means below this line if this dotted portion in this dotted portion curve will be absent this is the region of absence you can say for this dotted portion in this dotted portion curve will be absent and this dotted portion is y less than 0 means all y are negative for this dotted portion this curve will be absent here now is any other value of y for which x square is negative if you look at this for any other value of y x square is negative now for if y is greater than if y is equal to 2a what will happen y is equal to 2a 8a cube minus 8a cube will be 0 but now or if y is greater than 2a okay just I am going to check it it is not necessary that for y equal to 2a the region of absence sign it but I am going to check it but for y greater than 2a for y greater than 2a means y is equal to 3a y is equal to 2.5a y is equal to 2.25a y is equal to 4a and so on for y greater than 2a if y is greater than 2a or for example 3a suppose y is equal to 4a y is equal to 5a so this numerator will be negative x square once again i am going to write minus 4a square y this divided by y and for y greater than 2a in particular if i substitute y equal to 3 in particular you can substitute y equal to 4a y equal to uh, 2.5a means that value of y should be greater than 2a and if I substitute here 
y is equal to 3. What will happen here? See, minus 4a square and 3a. And this will be y is equal to 3a if I substitute. So what will happen? 8a cube minus 12a minus 4a cube by 3a. And a is positive. Therefore, whole term will be negative. Then x square is negative. For y greater than 2a, for y greater than 2a, x square is negative. As y greater than 2a is the region. y less than 0 is the region, this dotted portion. y equals 2a. Is this much distance is 2a. This will be a. This much same is 2a. And this is equal to a. This is a. Okay. Now above y equal to 2a. y greater than 2a means above y equal to 2a. y equal to 2a is this plane. Above y equal to 2a means above this. This curve will be absent here. In this dotted portion, curve will be absent again. So what we have done? Just we found the region of presence in this dotted portion is the region of absence, and this is the region of presence. Okay, this strip, the portion between y equal to zero line and y equal to two a line, in this, in between these two lines, the curve will exist. Now. We are going to trace it. Symmetry says that the curve is symmetric about y axis means on right hand side of y axis and on the left hand side of y axis the curve will be same. Therefore, in order to minimize the efforts, what I am going to do, I am going to find some points which are right and which are right to the y axis. Is this much part of the curve I am going to trace and the part of the curve which is present on the left hand side of x equal to 0 that I will draw directly. Now some points I am going to draw for x equal to a what will happen here see y equals 8a cube I am putting x equal to 2a here. 8a cube by 4a square 4a square 8a square and this is equal to a means for x equal to a what is value of a so for x equal to a what is value of y y is a for x equal to a the value of y is a again for x equal to 2a for x equal to 2a value of y is a is first point we have obtained x coordinate, first coordinate, second coordinate is y coordinate. This 2a comma a, this point we obtain. Where this 2, 2a comma a is, see, x is 2a and y is a, means this point. x is 2a, this is a and this is 2a somewhat here. If you put x equal to a, then 8a cube by 5a square. The 8 by 5 is here I am writing for x equals a y is equal to 8a cube by 5a square and y equals 8 by 5 is 8 by 5 is 1.6 uh, no? so for x equal to a y is 1.6 for x equal to a, y is 1.6a. This next point we have obtained for x equal to a, see, for x equal to a, this is origin, you know, and coordinates of the origin are 0, 0. For x equal to a, y is equal to 1.6a, means this is x equal to a and this is 1.5a and here somewhat. If you put x equal to 0, where it is? See, if you put x equal to 0, then 8a cube by 4a square means 2a will be there. For x equal to 0, the value of y will be 2a, 0, 2a. Okay, for x equal to 0, means 0, 2a, x coordinate of this point is 
zero. Therefore, that this point should be on y-axis. So coordinates of this point zero comma two. These three points we obtained. This for this point, this point, and this point. Okay. Now this is what we have. I am doing with a free hand, but I I recommend you to trace the curve on graph paper. You know, three points I have. All those points we have to join. You have to join smoothly. All those points you have to join smoothly. What I am going to do? One more point I am taking. This a two a three a. This is three a. You know. If you substitute x equal to three, what will happen? The value of y is point six two a. But you may write here point six also because we are tracing it. Now the next point we have obtained. 3a comma 0.62a, is it? Is in this way 4 to 5, 5 points, 4 to 5 points you try to try, uh, uh, try to plot. Now 3a, this is x coordinate is 3a, and the y y coordinate is 0.62. Mean this is 0.5, and it's a little bit above to this. See. This, this is this one. Okay, and this point is, this point is, three a comma point six two a. You may write point six a also. Now, if you look look at this curve, then we have asymptote, you know, asymptote parallel to x axis. What is the asymptote parallel to x axis? Y equal to zero is asymptote parallel to x-axis. Means this line is the asymptote parallel to x-axis. Asymptote to the curve. Y equal to zero is asymptote to this curve. Asymptote is the line which meets the curve at infinity. All those points smoothly I am going to uh, join. See, I am going to join all those points smoothly. Is this curvature here to maintain? Curvature we have to maintain means this curve is approaching to the asymptote red line one. In this way, the right hand side part of the curve I have stressed. Now, since the curve is symmetric about y-axis, curve is symmetric about y-axis. Therefore, this point will be here. This point will be here. Due to symmetry, this point will be here. Then all those points again, I am going to join smooth. The smoothness should be there. Okay, when this portion is symmetric with this portion. Okay, just I have drawn it by free hand. Therefore, exact symmetry you you cannot find. But this portion is symmetric to this portion. The, in this way, we trace the curve. We stop here. Thank you very much.